Hey everybody, we want to go through uh, the previews here and get through Image Comics. So let's get through this one and see what's going on. This this is February, so I'm, I'm playing catch up. This is everything that comes out in April. See Grendel there. Thank you for 40 years since 1982. Wow, I remember collecting some of the early ones. All the pages and everything, just all the different stuff. You can read through all of this stuff. If you want to. Project Superpowers. Wow. Who is killing the future's patriotic heroes? Wow. Mm -hmm. More stuff here. Indie stuff. Interviews. It's full of stuff in here to read. This is over with March 31st. Let's see if I can get one out to you so you can, maybe somebody can copy it down and use a digital version of this. John Carter of Mars, soldier, outcast, husband, hero. The ultimate fandom guide. All right, Image Comics celebrates its 30th anniversary in 2022 with the Image Anthology. Wow. Doctor Who? Cool, Dan Slott is going to be writing them. An epic new Doctor Who story written by Eisner Award winning writer Dan Slott. Yeah. Cool. Let me get Red Sonya. Got some variant covers over here. That's cool. Immortal Red Sonya. Invincible Toys. Action figures. Free comic book. That was wondering when that was going to happen. It's always the same. It changes up. On Saturday, May 7th, it's supposed to be. Free Comic Book Day returns to participating comic shops. Cool. More stuff. More comics. Free Comic Book Day silver sponsors. All these different books. Tyler Kirkham. Like many comic book creators, Tyler Kirkham began as a fan. Shirts. Okay, now we've reached Image. Let's go through this now and see what we got. This looked like I looked through it earlier. It looks like a lot of new stuff. Bloodstained Teeth, number one. Man. Pretty scary. April 27th. Christian Ward. Hmm. 32 pages soft cover, it says. Atticus Sloan. Misanthrope. Criminal. Jerk. And vampire. Lives in a world where family where blood isn't the only thing vamps crave. And for the right price, he'll make you a vampire too. After all, immorta immortality isn't cheap. Wow, man, could you imagine that one? And variant covers down here. Man, this is Atticus Sloan, misanthropic member of a secret elite, vampire. And for the right price, he'll make you one. Wow, immortality isn't cheap. Bloodstained teeth. Coming for you April 2022. And they got stories here. I don't know if, that, if this is how it's going to be colored. That's going to be different. He's making this girl a vampire. It's all business, though. He's like... What is wrong with these humans? She posted, I guess she posted it on Facebook or Instagram or something like that. Now she's a vampire. Man, this looks different. What do you think about this one? And this guy has been with him for years. He's driving him around now. Wow. And then we got Lego Ninjago Garmandon, number 105. April 6th it comes out. The all new Lego Ninjago comic book series starts here. Perfect for fans, new and old alike. An official new chapter of the Lego Ninjago universe begins here. Far away from Ninjago City, a village is terrorized by a mysterious new threat when they're saved by a stranger with incredible powers known as Garmandon or Garmadon. 
Lord of Destruction. Lord of Destruction? Hmm. All right. I like the Lego stuff. Look at this. Who's there? Show yourself. Why are you here? I go where I please. You should not continue further. Uh-oh. You will not continue, or you will not survive if you continue down this path. Brave words from one who skulks in the shadows. If you wish to test my mettle, then come out and face... Uh-oh. Me? <laughs> what sorcery is this? No sorcery. No tricks. Just truth. Not mine. <laughs> and then they're all fighting here. I am a conqueror. Okay, now we got a town called Terra. Steve Niles, hey, April 13th. A message from home, part one. Look at the eyes in the background, wow. And there's a variant down there, cover B. Henry West is brutally kidnapped in the middle of the night while his wife, Julie, watches, terrified. Henry awakens to the reality of his whereabouts, but Julie, with no evidence of the phantom crime, is unable to get help to search for him. Wow. And you go over here, some inside artwork here. Looks like this is going to be a spooky one. Now we get image number one of 12. They're going to do 12 issues of this. Wow, April 13th it comes out. There's a variant, or the main cover here. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of, first, of the first Image comic with a year-long parade of all new stories from some of the biggest and best names in comics. Wow. Featuring a combination of ongoing serials and standalone short stories, this inaugural issue kicks off with the first chapters of two 12-part stories. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the secret history of the war on weed. It's, <laughs> it says one shot. Gary Dugan. All right. April 20th. The year is 1985. The First Lady decides to crush North California cannabis farmers and deploys the biggest tool in the armed forces. Scott McTiernan. Collectible first of many hilarious appearances. Okay. That's different. So we're going to see what's that. This one shot has it all. Laughs, tears. Heart action plus an activity page. A portion of the proceeds from this comic will be donated to organizations dedicated to helping casualties of America's immoral drug war. Okay, we'll see what that's going to do. Now we got Farm Hand number 16. This comes out April 13th. The hot ongoing series from Agriculture Gone Apocalyptic Returns. Man. And they've got Image First. All these different titles. What can you get for a dollar? Image First. <laughs> All different titles coming out. The Walking Dead. Spawn One. How many times are they going to print up The Walking Dead number one? Wow. It's got a lot of first printing or a lot of uh, reprintings. Monstrous again. I hate Fairyland. I've seen some of these at Half Price Books already. And I picked up all the Walking Dead's usually when I see them when they're number one. Spawn number one, they're going to reprint that. Cool. East of West. I still have yet to find a number one of that. First printing, like, Kill or Be Killed was a good story. I like to do a flip through of that, the whole series. Of, I think it's 30, 28 to 30 issues. It's like, wow, this guy, man. And I have yet to pick up these. Wicked and Divine, I went through the first thing. That I read Paper Girls. That was very good. That was a very good story. Monstrous Janice reading that. I Hate Fairyland was very funny, but I have yet to finish it. Came out years ago. And I didn't pick up Middle West. I see some at Half Price Books. I need to pick them up. Firepower, I like that. And Department of Truth. Radiant Black is good. Astral City always. And Astral City or, or Aerosmith are coming out with more stuff with that. Noctera. Death and Glory, I read the first issue of that. Never read the first issue of Scumbag. I got it, but I didn't read it. Or Little Bird. And I don't think I picked up Homesick Pilots. Wow, Noctera was good. Grip of the Combinat. Original graphic novel, trade paperback. 
This comes out June 9th, or June 8th, I mean. Two mega corporations wage an eternal tug of war for the ruins of our, of our future solar system. Whoa. There's artwork in here. That's different. Now we got Primordial hardcover. Jeff Lemire, May 18th, this comes out. We get collection Primordial 1 through 6. Mind bending sci fi and Cold War thriller collide in this six issue series by the best selling Eisner winning creative team behind Gideon Falls. In 1957, the USSR made history by launching a dog named Laika into Earth's orbit. Two years later, the USA responded with two monkeys, Abel and Baker. These animals never returned. But unbeknownst to anyone, or to everyone, they did not die in orbit. They were taken, and now they're coming home. Uh-oh. Okay, I hope that's a good thing. Spawn, the Record Breaker trade paperback. April 27th. This is the storyline that changes everything, including art from industry giants like Greg Capullo, Jason Sean Alexander, Clayton Crane, and Jerome Opinia as well as a story penciled by Todd McFarlane himself. 184 pages. Hmm. Now we got A Thing Called Truth, trade paperback. Comes out April 13th. A Thing Called Truth, 1 through, one through 5 it collects. A workaholic scientist who wants to save the world and a woman who fears nothing but discovering her own destiny find themselves mixed up in a chaotic on-the-road adventure through Europe. All right, now we got vinyl trade paperback. That's pretty cool. Collects one through six. Okay, a black comedy full of gore, guts, and a great array of fascinating characters. Okay, let's see. What is this? Award winner. Dave Stewart for an unsettling tale of psychopaths, sweet love, and a serial killer named Walter. Oh, man. Dead to Class, Volume 11. A Fawn for Whale, Part 1. Trade paperback, Rick Remender. Comes out April 20th. Collects Deadly Class, 49 through 52. Now we got the Department of Truth, Volume 3, Free Country, trade paperback. James Tinian, the fourth. Comes out April 27th. Collects issues... 6 through 7 and 14 through 17. And we got the Good Asian Volume 2 trade. Porn Sack. Pishat. Pishat Shute. Shute. That's different. Okay, May 8th. The Good Asian 5 through 10. The Oblivion Song. Oblivion Song by Robert Kirkman. Comes out April 13th. Collects issues 31 through 36. Now we got Oblivion Song here. Hardcover, book three, by Robert Kirkman. Collects issues 25 through 36. Comes out July 13th. We got Scumbag, volume three. Golden Brown Eye, <laughs> trade paperback by Rick Remender. Comes out April 27th. Collects issues 11 through 14. Spawn Origins, volume 21, trade paperback. Comes out April 20th. Collects issues 123 to 128. Time Before Time, Volume 2 Trade. Declan Shelby and Rory McConville. Comes out April 13th. That's my nephew's birthday. Okay, it collects issues 7 through 11. Now we got Image First Backlist Spotlight. You see all the different covers. And all these here. Ice Cream Man in there. Invincible. Saga. Cool. Living Song. Get Mercy in there. Ascender. Headlopper. Mage. Nailbiter. Pretty Deadly. This was a good... This started off pretty good. I didn't finish it, though. Pretty pretty Deadly. Curse Word started off well as well, and I got told about Low, and I didn't start reading it yet. Fade Out started out okay. Outcast was screwed. Pretty scary. Aerosmith, Behind Enemy Lines. I have one through three of that. Number four of six, Kurt Busiek, 
one of my favorite writers. It comes out April 20th. Fletcher learns the truth about his mission and his mysterious ally as they try to elude the Black Baron's dangerous woven agents. Woven agents, I'd be avoiding them too. Bolero number four comes out April 13th. Hmm. Okay. Devon's X takes center stage. Okay. Then we got Dead to Class number 53, Rick Remender, another one. A Fond Farewell, part five. It comes out April 27th. That's a cool cover with the light and everything. Variant cover down there. There's nothing more beautiful than a total retreat from reality with someone you love in a place where you can leave behind all the noise, greed, and hate for a quiet and simple life. Firepower, I love this story. Number 19, you got a variant down there, cool. By David Finch. Robert Kirkman again. Comes out April 6th. New story arc. The legends are true. The dragon is real. The world is in danger. All this and introducing Master Shun. Now we got Ghost Cage number two of three. Nick Dragata and Caleb Goldner comes out April 27th. Secrets revealed as they face a second wave of elemental nightmares. Our phantom forged heroes confront their sword welding assailant, learn more about their mission, and face a truth shocking enough to reanimate a graveyard. Whoa, that's not a good thing. Girl Scouts, Stone Ghost, number six of six, comes out April 20th. Okay, Deal, Gordy, and Turtleneck Jones spring into action in this dinette in this dynamic and thrilling conclusion to the Stone Ghost Saga. Now we got Gunslinger Spawn, number seven. Who's collecting this? This seems really interesting. I started to get them and he didn't. Maybe I'll get a trade paperback or something. Here's the plain blank cover. That'd be cool just to draw my own version of him. This comes out April 20th by Todd McFarlane. Dealing with the aftermath, a new story arc. Okay, dealing with the aftermath of the savage battle against the new clown in Dakota, Gunslinger finds himself on the run yet again. This time from a mysterious new enemy. Okay, now we got Hell Cop number six. Brian Happerling comes out April 27th. The Sasquatch Wars, new story arc. Hmm. This was a miniseries finale in Girl Scouts. Okay, when Sasquatch royalty accidentally crosses into our world and gets shot by a drunken hunter, the repercussions could be enormous. <laughs> we got variants down here. Pretty. Okay, now we got Homesick Pilots number 14, Dan Waters. Comes out April 20th. Wow. It's a horror. A haunted battle rages across the West Coast, watched by the whole world, including the world's ghost. Ice Cream Man number 29. Comes out April 20th. W. Maxwell Prince, Living Well. Presenting for no one, the last will and testament of W.M. Parsons. There's a variant down there. Now we got Philadelphia number 21, Rodney Barnes. April 20th, The End of All, Part 3. The sold-out Eisner Award-nominated horror series rages on with more mind-bending twists. Wow. Finally, discover the secret origins of vampirism in the United States as the one true king of darkness reveals himself. Cool. King Spawn, number nine. Sean Lewis, you got a blank cover there. Comes out April 13th. Okay. The Gold, the God Throne, is close to completion. The Exodus Foundation and their partners have plans for Spawn. But Spawn isn't just going to fall into their trap. He has plans of his own. Oh my God, these will be the last two. Little Monsters, number two, by Jeff Lemire. April 6th. Okay, the thrilling new series hmm. continues as more revealed about the young vampires left to survive on their own. When a man stumbles into their camp, the long forgotten taste of human blood is quickly remembered. Wow, scary. Loaded Bible, Blood of My Blood, number two of six. Tom Seeley and Steve Orlando, April 6th. Okay, this is different. Jesus has been bitten by Dracula's sleeper vampire, but now. But how long can he stave off the, the infection? As Dracula's evil plan evolves, the real meaning of the ancient impeller's alliance with the church is revealed. 
All life on earth is under threat. Can Jesus' own people save their savior in time to save the world? That's pretty bad. I don't know if I like that. We'll see. I'm not sure about that. But people write what they want. to see what they do with it and everything. But that will be the end for now. I'm going to start the second part in a little bit. Thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day. And Collect to Do It is out.